Costa Rica. I think I want to go to yoga actually. So I, Jonathan went to get me coffee because we ran out of coffee, but he wants to go surfing. So I'm going to go get the coffee to save him and then go to yoga. <laughs> I got my coffee, but I probably need to go soon. Yoga's up. Oh no, I have, I have a little bit of time. I turned 31. <laughs> it was an experience. I just, it's so crazy. Cause like, I just like don't feel 31 or like, I don't know. I know everyone's like, I don't feel like when you totally don't feel like that age, but like, I literally am like, it doesn't make any sense. Like I'm 26, <laughs> like forever, not forever, but like, that's kind of like how I feel inside. And like, I don't know. It's like 31 just seems like such a big age. And I'm like, that's not, I'm not 31. <laughs> like I'm, it's just weird. But I also know that there's like a, there's like a biological age and then it's like how you feel or what your body's like or something. I don't know but I don't feel 31, but here I am turning 31. <sighs> but it was a really nice birthday. We like, it was so chill, it was so hot. Went for a swim, got like coffee, got breakfast. My dad's here now, so it was just really nice. But I don't know, man, 31, Jesus. When you do yoga here at this place called Bodhi Tree, it's like a yoga, like hotel and um, you buy these tokens, which I think is so cute. So you buy these little tokens. So I bought like a bunch when I got here. And then when you go to your class, you like put your token on your mat and the teacher collects them. And that's how they know like how many people are in the class, which I think is so cute. Like, I don't know. It just feels like I need water I need my quad key, yoga bag, water, quad key, sunglasses. Oh, I'm going to wear a helmet because safety first. And I guess we're gonna go. This class is actually really hard. I did her class on my birthday and she did it in this like shawl that she could close the doors. It was so hot. People were literally like drenched in sweat. There was sweat all over the ground. Like there was puddles and put like not even puddles, like full ponds of sweat. It was crazy. So I'm a little bit nervous because she is a really intense teacher, but I do actually also like her class because it feels like a nice workout, but it's a vinyasa yoga. So, I didn't finish my coffee, which I kind of feel bad. I mean, Jonathan, like, go get coffee. And then I didn't drink it, but I'll drink it when I get back. Okay, so I'm going to Ocean Shala, which is up these stairs. And it's like at the top, kind of. It's very, well, there's actually like way more stairs than that. You can kind of see through here. There's more stairs there. So while I do this, I'm gonna, while I do yoga, I'm gonna tell you about BetterHelp and how they are the sponsor of this video and how I've been using them for like years, so. Over the holidays, we had a lot of our friends down in Costa Rica and something that we did was we sat around and talked about our intentions and our resolutions for 2024. A few of mine included bring a packed lunch to work once a week, cook more at home and exercise more, including doing yoga. A therapist can not only help you create your resolutions and intentions, but also stick with them. So BetterHelp is something that I've been using for a while and you can have your therapy sessions as a phone call, video chat, or even just messaging and they can match you with one of over 30,000 therapists based on your needs. It's also online, so it makes it really convenient for your schedule or location if you live in a small town and maybe don't have access. All you have to do is fill out a questionnaire and BetterHelp will match you with a therapist and in most cases it's within 48 hours. You can schedule therapy at any time that's convenient for you and you can easily switch therapists until you find the right one that's for you. Click the link in my description, betterhelp.com slash Allegra Shaw for 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. Go home from yoga. Tough class, I was very weak, but I'm happy I did it. Now I'm gonna heat up the coffee I didn't drink and have some coffee. I kinda wanna do a cold plunge today. I have some work I need to do, I need to do therapy. So I'm gonna do therapy now. And then do a little bit of work. Kind of want to surf today, although surfing in the morning is best, but I just, I don't know. 
turned on all the like professionals are in the morning and I'm I don't have the confidence to go out that early <laughs> with like everyone but I do want to get out there I want to surf in the morning before I leave to feel like confident because I can do it I just don't have the confidence which is honestly like kind of story of my life like I can speak French but I don't have the confidence to like speak French you know like working on it working on that in 31 that's for sure you know, I'm gonna get this coffee made and get on a therapy call it's funny because like birthdays I feel like in your 20s like I was always so excited my whole life to turn the next stage and I'd be like turning 20 I'm turning 21 22 23 like I was like so excited and now I'm like mini mental breakdown every time I turn my age it's like it doesn't even matter <laughs> I don't know once you're under your 20s it's like it's different it's different but I did I don't know if I read it or like watched it but I just like remind myself like it doesn't matter and like I watched this thing and it was like because yeah I don't know hi done but something i wanted to talk to you about for my girls who get or guys who get botox okay now that we're not like sweating out of our foreheads where are you sweating out of because i literally didn't sweat out of my upper lip until i started getting botox on my forehead and now like i just sweat out of my upper lip and i'm like this is not worth it it's like so gross ew and i was like in this fucking yoga class on tuesday on my birthday and it was like I was like, I think I said, like everyone was drenched in sweat, like drenched forehead though, bone dry, not a single drop of sweat. Upper lip though, sweating. And I like, cause obviously your sweat has to come out somewhere if it's not coming out of like where you got Botox, like where does your sweat come out of? I feel like I sweat so much on my chest and so much on my upper lip now, which I never ever had before, like ever. <laughs> I need to introduce you guys to the dogs. That's Tico. Dora. That's my dog, Canelo. Hi, 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 hi. Do you love this morning? <laughs> yeah. Guys. Hi. Why are you doing that? Need some love? Their brother and sister. I know. Come here. Tico's such a baby. He just literally wants a hug all the time. Yeah. Well, hang out. It's okay. Dora, 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 come in. <laughs> I love the way Canelo runs. He's always like running like he's late for something. What's up, Dora? What's up?
feel lost at war. Mm -hmm.